What's going on guys, Drew here, and today I have something special to show you guys. I was finally able to get my hands on a dang old baby dagger, right here, or AKA the Dagger Micro. Probably like a lot of you guys that were interested in this pistol, the moment they come in stock, within five minutes, they're out of stock. So if you're not paying attention to your email, getting the notifications that these are in stock, typically they're already out of stock, which kind of sucks. So when I got the email, the only one that was in stock was the two-tone extreme carry cut micro dagger. Uh, by extreme carry cuts, they just have slide serrations on the front and the rear, and they are beveled a little bit, so you're not cutting your hands while you're doing press checks or racking your slide from the rear. Now, what makes the PSA Dagger Micro unique compared to other subcompacts? Most pistols of the subcompact variety are a single stack 9mm or 380. I have a 380 here to compare with this one. PSA was able to shove 15 rounds of 9mm into their magazines. Their magazines are pretty unique. It is a metal, a thin walled metal with a polymer plate of some sort on the front used to actually catch the magazine release right there i thought it would promote for it to not slide out as good but it seems to work pretty well but one of the downfalls to this which i was kind of upset about i didn't realize until after i got the gun psa only sent one magazine with this pistol now most of psa's pistol offerings come with at least two magazines but psa for some reason decided the micro daggers were only going to get one so that's kind of disappointing not only that, but these are pretty spendy magazines. The Primo slick coated magazines from PSA run roughly $33 a magazine. They do offer a mid-range and then a Blem variety, which is probably gonna be significantly cheaper, probably around the $19, $20 range. Now, PSA has done an excellent job with all the stippling or the grip texturing on this pistol. It has that nice sandpapery feel like the Rock 5.7 and the actual full-size daggers. They've gone above and beyond and put index indexing points on the frame right here for your pointer or your thumb on the other side, depending on how you hold. Now on the trigger well, they have it on the front for all you weirdos that like to hold your pistols out in the front like this. And then also underneath for everybody else that does it normally, as you're indexing here, you still get a little bit of stippling right there to hold on to your gun. Go on, Emma. Go on, get. Now, when I bought this pistol, I did get it on a PSA daily deal. This pistol came with a Hollow Sun 407K. Altogether, the pistol and the red dot sight ran me $499. Shipping and the transfer fee was about $525 total. Wasn't too bad and actually got here extremely quick within two days, I believe, from PSA to Alaska. They did include hardware to mount the 407 to the pistol and it says specifically use screws with the blue Loctite for the hollow sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that put on the pistol real quick and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So this is what the micro dagger looks like with the 407K on it. Ran into an issue with the screws. Uh, the screws that Palmetto supplied to use with this sight on this pistol were still too long, bottoming out before the sight was even secure on the slide. Now the ones Palmetto did provide were significantly shorter than the ones that Hollow Sun has inside the packaging. So what I did was, and I don't recommend this if you're not comfortable doing this to your own stuff, I'm sure I could have contacted Palmetto and they would, probably would have sent me a, another set of screws for it, but I don't wanna wait, I wanna see what it looks like, I wanna get out and shoot this thing. Uh, what I did is I took these screws that Palmetto sent for this site specifically and I shaved them down with a sander, uh, roughly about an eighth of an inch. Man, I mean, luckily it seated on there just right. I didn't cross thread it. None of the threads got messed up. The site is on there good and tight. Gave her a couple of good old Ugga Duggas and she is ready to roll. Now, the only thing I don't like about this 407K, it's a six MOA dot. So it's a pretty big dot compared to the one MOAs that I run on my RMRs. But for people that aren't used to running red dots, having a bigger dot would be easier to acquire your sight. So I'm super excited to go out and shoot this, but unfortunately we are just coming out of a two to three week cold snap in Alaska. It's been in the negative teens, negative twenties uh, the past couple of weeks, super cold. Um, but we're on the uptick. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys for checking out the new PSA Dagger Micro that I've added to my family of pistols. Make sure you guys check out Palmetto State Armory. Great, great American-based company. Huge supporters of the Second Amendment. Also, guys, we just passed 1,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for everyone that subscribed and watches my goofy content. I know it's kind of nerdy and boring until we can get outside and shoot, but living in Alaska, it's hard to do when it's negative 20 for three weeks in a row. All right, guys, that'll do it for the video. I'll catch you in the next one. We're gonna be unboxing Ethan's brand new Shadow Systems MR920. Make sure you guys check it out.